Number two, whatever a person does to prevent himself from being killed does not amount to an offense. That is a constitution. Anything a person does in order to prevent himself from being killed, whatever it is, it is not an offense. Section 59 of the Penal Code provides that nothing is an offense of which is done in the lawful exercise of the right of private defense. Nothing is an offense. Vigilante groups hear the word. Nothing is an offense. Section 60 of the Penal Code, Penal Code also provides that the right of private defense extends to A, the defense of his own body and the body of any other person against any offense affecting the human body. B, the property, whether movable or immovable, of himself or of any other person. In other words, against any act which is an offense under the definition of theft, robbery, mischief, criminal trespass, which is an attempt to commit any of those offenses. Meaning is, nothing is an offense where a person is defending himself or defending another from being destroyed or being killed. So what is the useless nonsense about those who think they have the claim to take lives at will and then they go unarrested and they go unharassed, the end of it has come. Somebody shout, enough is enough. What I read said, if the man killed somebody because they came to kill him, that the court discharged him acquitted. That devil is a bastard. In case you are saying, Pastor, but is it constitution you are quoting? Let's go to Bible. Take your seat. Genesis chapter 9 verse 6. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be set. For in the image of God made him man, the killer is qualified for killing. Exodus chapter 22 verse 2. Look at what he said. If a thief be found, so let's generalize it. A thief is the lowest level. Kidnapper, ritual killer, assassin, hired killer, terrorist, be found, breaking up, and be smitten that he die. There shall no blood be shed for him. But that action was not an offense. It came, it came to finish people. And the people he came to finish gathered and finished him. Those people did nothing wrong. Proverbs 26 verse 27. He that did get a pit shall fall inside. Whatever he wants is given. He that rolleth a stone. Somebody say back to sender. Somebody saying you are quoting Old Testament. Let's go to New Testament. Revelation chapter 13 verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must, 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 must be killed. Whatever he uses to come to kill, with the same equipment he shall be attacked. Now see what the penal code said. He said the person is not only meant to defend himself, but any other person around. And you, are, you want to watch them waste your wife and children. They went into, into one house. They pulled out everybody, ripped women's pregnancy open, plucked out the eye of a little boy, and left him alive with no, the two eyes plucked out. Somebody say, enough is enough. Say, enough is enough. Did Jesus have anything to say about self-defense? Matthew chapter 26, verse 51. He said, and behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Can somebody be following Jesus with his sword? Then say Jesus unto him, throw away the sword. He didn't read it well. Then Jesus said, how did you get the sword? Then Jesus said, I am surprised you are with the sword. Don't you believe in prayer? Anything people want is inside this Bible. <laughs> hey! 
I thought that Jesus should be surprised. That how can you be my disciple and you are carrying it? He said, put it back. For this occasion, I am meant to die. So don't use it now. I say put it back because you may need it later. And I am not asking you to use it to attack people. I am not asking you to use it to fight people. But in case they come near you. Uh, take your seat. This is the worst one. This is the worst one. Luke chapter 22, verse 35 to 36. And he said unto them, when I sent you without pause and scrape and shoes, lacked ye anything? And they said nothing. And he said, but now, as I am about to go, then said, but now, he that has a pause, let him take it. And likewise, he scrape. And he that has no sword, let him sell now let me make something clear there shall be no war in nigeria there shall be can somebody say louder amen. amen there shall be no war in nigeria amen. but no demonic vagabond no demonic vagabond anymore somebody shout enough it's enough as i am about to leave and he didn't change that command before he left after resurrection he was on earth for 40 days he didn't say to the disciples, I have resurrected now. What I was saying at that time, I was playing. Or I was saying it because I'm about to be crucified and I, I won't be around with you. He didn't reverse the, 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 the decree. Sell the coat. The time will be coming where the sword will be more important than the garment. If the penal code, the constitution have said it, and the word of God has said it, who is that devil? And who is that agent that is saying that we cannot say what God has said? Please, never go about deliberately looking for who to disturb or who to kill. Every murderer shall go to hell. The, the flames of fire. But he said, in case they came to kill you, you are not guilty for whatever happens to them. should set to some people that should set to some people and we're going to pray right now father let every agent of death and destruction in nigeria begin to die the death they are giving to people lift your hands say father let every agent of death and destruction begin to die the death they are giving to others now Open your mouth and pray. And let nobody misunderstand this. Nobody is as patriotic for this nation as we. We have prayed for this nation and we are praying. That is why we are angry against demonic bastards who want to make our prayer a waste. And it will never be. Hold the hand of somebody and say, Father, in Nigeria, no war. No war. Nigeria shall not scatter. Nigeria shall not be destroyed. Open your mouth and pray.